going to be doing a easy, simple chicken. It's pretty simple and you're going to love it. So stay tuned to watch. I got the chicken drumsticks. So I'm going to let them unthaw for now. So that when they get the unthaw, then we're going to start getting into this pot. And I'm going to put some, uh, a good half cup of water about right here in the middle. And then I'm going to put three um, garlics inside here and let this boil for a while. And then... Um, after that, we'll get to the next step to the greens. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. I have three garlics, like I told you guys, and I'm just gonna let them boil and sit so that the water and the garlic can sit in and met, like get that flavor, you know what I'm saying? And then once I, um, once the chicken drums start to dissolve, then I'm gonna add them in here. I just wanna let you know right now that I'm thawing, I've been using a tongs to take them out and put them into this bowl right here. So what I did is also add, um, if you don't have to, if you want to, I, I recommend you to add some of this a little bit, oil, and then you're going to add your ingredients. Is, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, I'm going to add a little bit of oregano, and I'm going to add some pepper, and I'm also going to add some seasoned chicken, and I'm going to mix that up, and then I'm going to toss it into here, and I just let this set and simmer with the garlic and a little bit of salt in there. And all right, and then we're ready to start boiling. We start adding our salt. Make sure you get it all around the, the bowl. And we're gonna mix it in a few minutes. Um, we're gonna add our chicken sauce. Make sure you get it all around that bowl. And we're gonna add just a, a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of oregano leaf. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of more oil and then mix it. Make sure you mix it very good and well. to be put into this pot. Let me get my tongs. Oops, sorry guys. Okay, I'm just going to keep on reprocessing, reprocessing the same thing. And make sure you repeat when you put the salt. Um, Make sure you put like a uh, half of salt and then half of, um, repeat the same thing with the chicken salt season and also the oregano and also just keep doing that for maybe five to ten minutes. Make sure you mix up very good so you can get that nice flavor and everything. Okay, I'll see you when when I get done with boiling. So you wanna, oh, also guys, I wanna make sure to let you guys know, you wanna leave this in here for 10 to 20 minutes to boil. And then we'll do the mashed potatoes and macaronis. And I'll see you after that. We're gonna add one, one uh, chili riancho, and one chili riancho, and also add, One of these jalapeno, jalapenos. I'm gonna set them right in there like that. Also forgot we're also gonna make corn. Making this some chicken, macaroni, corn. Chamoy, mangoes, mashed potatoes. Good, huh? Pass over. So, guys, it's been passed over 20 minutes already. So, uh, this is what the chicken looks like. So good. Okay, let me check. Let me show you what it looks like so far. This is what it looks like. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. So, I'm gonna let that cook still for another 20 more minutes, and it should be ready to eat. 
So the next step we're gonna be making is macaronis. Sorry about my light. So um, I'm gonna turn this on, make sure this is warm. Okay, yeah, it's warm. All right, I'm gonna set that there. Make sure to get that warm up and I'm gonna start adding my macaroni into here, into the bowl. And I'm gonna go get the butter. We only need one tub of butter and I'm gonna, after this boils, I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna go get the butter and we're gonna get to the next step and we'll, I'll see you in a few minutes. As I basically, so guys, I basically set it, uh, let it boil for 10 minutes. So now I'm going to uh, drain the water and I'm gonna add the butter and the cheese. As I added my tub of butter into here, I just got done draining it. So I'm gonna let this melt into my macaronis and then I'm gonna add the cheese later. All right, see you in a few minutes. Mom, hey mom, if you're seeing my chicken, this is what it looks like so far. Here, I'm gonna show you. I added a little bit of hot peppers and all that stuff. Yeah. And if you are coming or not, it's really, I got extra. I'm making the macaronis right now. I'm gonna add the corn later on and the mashed potatoes. And I'm also making mangoes, see? Mangoes. Mangonada. It's now added the cheese and now I'm just gonna let it melt and I'm gonna mix it around. Also guys, I also added just a, one cup of milk so that the, the cheese can dissolve in here better and it won't m burn the macaronis and the cheese with it. So I'm gonna, I'm mixing it and I want it to look creamy and smooth. And once I'm done, then I'm gonna start going adding the mashed potatoes next and I'll see you then guys. Here's the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna open them up and I'm gonna put it in the pan. I add a little bit of water and just a little bit of butter and I will add just some a little bit of milk and mix it up together. And also I'm gonna be using the garlic into my mashed potatoes. So right now let's start opening up the mashed potatoes and start putting it into this pan. You're just gonna mix it a little bit, but it looks pretty good. If you like it like a little bit like not too lumpy, but thin, like where you, it's smooth and creamy like this, then it's good. And if consistency of this, then I will, then you're done. And then I'm gonna add it to this bowl. Okay, guys, it's been ten minutes now. I'm going to now drain the the corn and, and add the butter and let it cook. Okay, and I'm gonna mix it with the butter, and then it's ready to eat. You guys want to look at what it looks like so here's the final uh retouch of what it looks like and i'm ready to enjoy and hope you guys enjoy this